Dingoes are thought to have arrived in Australia tens of thousands of years ago. They quickly adjusted to all habitats and became top dog in the local food chain. Settlers branded the dingoes as a threat to livestock and slaughtered them in their thousands. They were victimised for the next 200 years and in the 1980s their reputation as a killer went international with the Azaria Chamberlain incident where it was alleged that a dingo took the baby from her tent. And from what I've been told it would appear the dog has stepped over the young child to get to the baby and then stepped back over the child after he's picked the baby up. There wasn't time to go and tell people. I just yelled out, has anyone got a torch? The dingo's got my baby. People have been attacked, but it's very likely that these attacks are due to interbreeding with domestic dogs and human contact. Dingoes are the same species as domestic dogs, Canis familiaris. The major difference is that while domestic dogs can bear multiple litters each year, dingo bitches only come on heat once a year and therefore only produce one litter. They typically make their dens in rock shelters or hollow logs and will bear four to seven pups about two months after mating. The pups are extremely playful and are keen to explore the outside world. During this time, they are closely guarded by the father, who will protect them from any potential threat. Dingoes move in families, and occasionally in larger groups, but as a rule, they're not social creatures. They'll sometimes cooperate in catching their food, but once the prey is caught, mealtimes take on a well-established pecking order. The adults take precedence over the young, and any interference is quickly dealt with. Even this starving dingo isn't tolerated, and swiftly receives its marching orders.
Dingoes are the world's oldest pure breed dog. They're extremely efficient hunters in their own environment and sit at the top of the food chain. Dingoes can't be fully domesticated, but because of their similarity to our own pets, it's easy to forget that they're wild. Like most native animals, they're opportunistic and will take food when it's available. Problems with humans arise when we encourage contact by offering handouts. Remove the temptation and we can remove the threat to us without losing these uniquely Australian creatures. 